Hi guys, this is uh, my prony brake test and we are going to be using UFO's method of measurement and also the measurement I believe should be made when making calculations on this type of setup. First off, uh, a little bit about the motor from the Advanced Machine Company. You may not be able to see it, uh, the numbers are quite faded. It's a 24 volt motor. 41 amp input, 2500 RPM, and a one horsepower output. Now, my lifting device is not going to be hand operated. They're very hard to keep an accurate tension on the strap when using hands. Um, mine is actually going to be a mechanical lift setup, and I can adjust the tension simply by screwing this down, which lifts that up. My two scales here, identical scales, hang them on here, hook them up. I've made one video already with the camera on the stand, but could not see the numbers clearly enough altogether, so I'm remaking it. They are my two scales. They will be set on pounds as shown. That is my amp meter. I'm using that because that is the only one I have that will go above 10 amps. Um, we will go to the first mark on it which will be 15 amps being drawn from the batteries. This will indicate our battery voltage and here we have two quite large batteries that are supplying our 24 volts. The other thing we have to note on this setup is of course the diameter of the wheel in which the rope will be running around. This probably is three inches. However, we'll be running the rope on the bottom of the V there, as you can see I have already been doing. And that the measurement there is 58 millimeters. That equates to somewhere near 7.7 .7 inches in circumference, but you can do the calculations yourself. Now we're going to hook the system up and give it a run and this is hard to do one handed but it is necessary to get everything all in shot in one hit. So we will start up the machine now gets hotter, the wire rope, which I've used because that's what UFO has used, is going to get hot and expand, um, which makes it longer, which means, as you can see, the weight will drop down, and that one has locked because it has had a steady weight for too long, the weight will drop down as the rope heats up. We're currently on about so I'll just over 15 amps, so we get 16 to 17 amps. I will back that off just a little to get that as close to 15 as we can. We have right there. Now, trying to get that all in one shot is going to be tricky, but there you have it. And our RPMs at this time. about 280 to 285. As you can see the weight is dropping off. This is uh, wire rope and pulley is starting to get extremely hot. Now 
but we're going to let it run for a bit so as we can make some very accurate measurements. So now that's what I'm going to try and do get everything in one shot so as we can take a screenshot so we have that that and voltage and of course our RPM which is remaining fairly stable Two sixty six. So there we have it. We're going to do it as you have done and take a screenshot from that lot. Once again, we will read our RPM. And there we have it. The pulley is getting extremely hot now. As you can see that meter as soon as it reads a stable reading on the back side will stop but it remains fairly accurate. Okay so now we will uh, head on up to the house. As you can see I gave it a decent run. You may think that the meter is not very accurate, but when we have done these sums, you will see just how accurate that was compared to the manufacturer's efficiency rating on the motor. So, uh, like I said, we'll head off up to the house now and do our calculations and put the video together for you guys to see.